hello everyone welcome once again to dada's food crave kitchen if you are new to my channel i absolutely welcome you if you are a returning subscriber i also welcome you if you are new i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel don't forget that post notification bell so you stay updated in any new video that i uploaded in today's recipe i will be showing you how to make a quick dinner recipe that the whole family will enjoy fish with baked potato wedges if you are interested in seeing how to make it keep on watching and without any further ado let's get cooking Alright my dadas team, let's start with our first ingredients. You are going to need potatoes of course. So you want to buy the potatoes that are baking potatoes. You see it says baking potatoes. Alright. So now next what I'm going to do is I am going to wash the potatoes. I'm going to scrub the dirt off the potatoes because it comes in very dusty and like dirty so i mean because i'm not going to take the skin off the potatoes i'm going to pick the skin on i'm going to leave the skin on the potatoes so you want to make sure you scrub the, the dirt off so i have this sponge here that i purchased from walmart i mean it is so soft you see it's not even hurting my hands i purchased it purposely just for you know times like these when i want to scrub potatoes or just to clean up my vegetables all right I don't use it to do my dishes. I just use it to um, like times like these when I need to scrub my potatoes or any type of food item. All right. So you're going to scrub all that dirt off the potato because like I said, again, I'm going to leave the skin on the potatoes. All right. You will see at the end how dirty the water is. You have to scrub it, especially like I said, the skin is going to stay on. I'm going to leave the skin on when I cook the potatoes. guys you see how dirty the water is this is why i said you have to scrub the potatoes you have to wash it like wash it not with your hand if you can find a brush that soft that you can scrub all that dirt off that would be great because it scrubbed all that dirt off from the potatoes all right so i went ahead and rinse it now let's move on to the next step this is a quick easy dinner recipe that the whole family will enjoy and it is so delicious guys it's a must try so after washing the potatoes you want to make sure you pat dry them with paper towel next i am going to cut the potatoes in in a thick thick slices i'm going to give it that julienne cut which is the potato we call it the potato wedges actually so you see i'm only cutting it into, into a julienne cut in a very thick slice like so all right want to do is spread the potato out like so and sprinkle some extra virgin olive oil on the potatoes and then next i am going to sprinkle in some garlic powder mm -hmm. 
Then next, I'm going to sprinkle in some onion powder. And then some black pepper. So I have this season here that is called Slap Your Mama. Very funny name, isn't it? <laughs> but it's really good. If you don't have the Slap Your Mama seasoning, just use um, a Creole seasoning or any season you have. And then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some paprika. So you're going to go ahead and give it a good massage. Give it a good mix. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven. My oven was already preheating for 350. You're going to pop it in the oven and just bake it in until all the potatoes are well done. So meanwhile, while the potatoes it's going in the oven, let's start with our next ingredients. So now I have here yellow corn meal. So you're going to need some yellow corn meal. I'm not measuring. I'm just gonna pour enough um, corn meal on my on the plate there. Then I'm going to use the same exact seasoning that I use for the potatoes. But here before that. I am going to um, sprinkle in some um, mashed potato powder. You can use potato flakes if you want. Since I can't find any potato flakes, I am just going to use some mashed potato powder. And the one that I'm using here, I I didn't open the, the plain one. The one that I'm using here, as you notice, I am picking up some stuff from the um, potato powder. It's because of this one is the buttery one so those things that i'm picking from the potato um from the mixture they are butter dry butter so then i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some onion powder garlic powder the same seasoning that i use for the potato and some um paprika salt and black pepper that's all you need but make sure you don't forget to sprinkle in the um potato flakes if you have potato flakes that would be perfect if not, just use, um, you know, mashed potato powder, dry mashed potato powder. So use the same exact seasoning that you use for the potato wedges and um, mix everything until it's well combined. And then next guys i am using a swai fish here which is known as the asian catfish you can use any fish of your choice you can use catfish cod fish um, tilapia fish fillet whichever fish you have like i said i'm using the fish called swai all right that's what i'm using for this recipe so what you want to do is since the fish is a little damp um, I'm just going to go ahead and coat it into the cornmeal mixture. You want to make sure you get every nook and crannies into the fish. Coat it until it is well coated. All right. Coat everything really good until it's well coated. So next, I am using my um, griddle here. You can use um, any um, pan of your choice. You can use um, your frying pan. But because I'm trying to avoid putting a lot of oil. And besides, the fish is very long. And my frying pan is not that long. And I don't, you know, I don't think it will fit 
but if you have a wider um, frying pan that will be perfect like i said i'm using my um griddle here because the fish is very long i want it to be like i want it to lay really really flat and then you're gonna pour in a little bit of oil not much oil at all like i said this recipe is so easy to make and i mean it's healthy you know what i mean so you're gonna use a little bit of oil and until it's hot and then you um you just fry the fish um in that little bit of oil until it is well done on one side and then you flip it to the other side until it's golden brown so meanwhile i have my peas here i have frozen peas i am going to put it into my bowl there and then i'm going to add some butter i have here like two tablespoons of butter and i'm gonna add some black pepper you can add some seasoning as well or maybe salt if you need to add any salt because of I'm using salted butter, so I don't need to add any more salt. All right. Then I'm going to put it in the microwave for six minutes and um, cook the peas until it is well done. As you can see, guys, one side of the swai fish, it is perfectly cooked. Golden brown, no need to rush it. Because like I said, you're only using a little bit of oil to cook this fish. So you want to um, be patient with it. Make sure it is well done because you don't want to have no seafood poisoning. You want to make sure you cook it on one side until it's perfectly cooked and golden brown on the one side. Then you flip it over to the other side. As you can see, the other side is also done, perfectly done. Golden brown it is. I am going to take it out and continue on. I think I have one more. I'm going to do that off camera and finish up with that. And guys, my um, potato wedges is out of the oven. It is well done as well. It has a very um, light golden color brown to it. And it is well done. As you can see, I'm going to break one and show you guys how well done it is. It is ready. And if you like, enjoy watching this video, please give this video a big like. And if you're new, like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget your post notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new video. So here I have some um, ketchup and also some ranch. Well, this recipe will go really, really well with some tartar sauce because of the fish. Since I don't have any, I'm just using ranch. Use any sauce of your choice. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Give this video a big like and a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new. Thank you all so much for watching. Until I come your way next time, may peace be unto you all. Shalom.